What's going on guys? My name is Sebastian, this is Resell Junkie. If you're new here, my wife and I resell you stuff online and we teach others how to do it. What we're gonna do right now is we're gonna jump into the computer and I'm gonna show you guys what sold over the past week and a half on eBay. So without further ado, let's just get into it. So before we get into this guys, the price on the screen is not gonna be accurate. eBay, for whatever reason, doesn't show sales and best offers on uh, this price. What I'm gonna do is tell you what we paid for each item and what it actually sold for. So first thing, this LL Bean sweater i've had this thing for a while now i found several of these over the years like literally this exact same one this one is cool because it is made in norway let me show you guys the tag it's made in norway which is interesting if you see items that are made in weird countries like norway or canada or australia or new zealand always take a look at those because they might really be worth some money now it's not always the case because a lot of stuff is made in those countries but just take a second look, especially if it's like a basic brand, like say like L.L. Bean or Eddie Bauer or something. If it's made in a weird country, it may bring more money. This one was cool. We literally just sold it like 20 minutes before starting this video for 45 bucks. I expected a little bit more because it was a tall size, but it did have stains on it. So we did take a best offer. Uh, we paid $7.45 for this one. So not a bad little flip. If you follow us on Instagram or you see our YouTube shorts, you've already seen this. These Scarpa boots, Scarpa is a really nice brand as far as like winter sports are related. They make some really nice hiking boots in general, but these were beat up. I mean, like look at these things. These were rental demo ski boots. I mean, they were just destroyed. They were not in good cosmetic condition, but they were in great physical condition. Like they're totally usable. They just look ugly. I paid... $15.50 for these and they sold for $130 within one day. That's pretty sweet. Maybe we could have charged a little bit more. Maybe we could have got like $145 for them. But if they were in better shape, we could have easily got like $180 bucks for them. Learn your ski stuff. Learn your boots because a lot of them do bring a lot of money. All right, next is this Carhartt jacket. We paid $8.40 for it. Nothing really too crazy. Just a nice basic brown Carhartt jacket, just in good shape overall. Like I said, we paid $8.40 for it and it sold for $75. So that was a nice little flip. Carhartt is an amazing brand. People do love it. Just look for these like heavy duty type of jackets, but always just make sure that they don't have like company logos on them, like on the back or on the arms or on the chest, because a lot of companies do buy these for their employees. Not to say that you should pass up on a nice jacket that's cheap just because it has a logo on it, but just be really, really cautious with those. That's my one tip. All right, next, these Columbia Vertex snow pants. When it comes to any brand in the world, they all have separate lines of products, right? So like North Face will have like Summit Series and all these things. Columbia has the same thing. You need to learn what each of these brands have in their lines that are special or a little bit more sought after or bring a few more bucks. These were a little bit more special. They were in great shape. Like I said, they're the Vertex line. Yeah, they sold pretty much instantly for the $40 actually. So we paid $9.20 for these. I love picking up snow pants. It is by far one of my favorite flips in the winter time because you find them often. They're usually pretty cheap and people buy them pretty quickly in the winter time. Now with these, you have to make sure that the crotch isn't ripped, make sure that the hems don't have too many tears on them. If the hems are a little bit beat up, that's okay. But just if there's like huge gaping holes in them, like something that would really take away from like a snow pant, pass on those. But if there's like little small tears and things like that on the bottom, does not matter. People will still buy them. You could still make some money on them. All right, American Giant. I learned about this brand this year actually, and it became quickly one of my personal favorite brands to wear. I really like their hoodies. I really like their t-shirts. It's just a great brand overall. It's American made. It's just basic wear. Really, really quality though. Like this stuff is thick. It feels nice. It feels expensive. This thing sold instantly, I think within like, I don't know, 12 hours for $36. And we paid like $9 and some change for it. Biggest tip with this guys, like if you see something that's made in USA and it feels like heavy and nice, just look into it. It really may be worth your time. Some of these USA niche brands can really sell for a lot of money, so don't pass up on basic items like this. American Giant hoodies, you can get $60 for, if not more, if it's brand new. So again, just because something is basic, doesn't have a pattern on it or a design on it, doesn't mean it's trash. You need to understand what quality feels like, and you need to learn what niche brands actually sell well. Going back to brands you need to know, 
I found this several times, the brand Holy Bar. I think that's how you say it, I'm not sure. This is just a really nice little chore jacket, nothing crazy, it is made in Colorado. I, I found this several times, in fact, I just found another one yesterday. This jacket we did have for, I don't know, like a month or so, but it was a really nice jacket. We did take a best offer on it for $70 because it did have some wear in places like that, but we paid $26 for it, so $26 to $70. Probably not the best flip in the world, but for me, I just kind of wanted to save this jacket and get it to someone's hands that, you know, would appreciate it. I was expecting to get a little bit more. You could see I listed it for 120. I was expecting to get like at least 90 to 100 bucks for it. But again, I'm fine with that. It didn't cost that much to ship. I still made what, like a $40 profit or something like that. So I'm not gonna complain. Talked about it plenty of times, guys. Flame resistant, okay? Just be on the lookout for this stuff. Let me just show you the little things to look out for. You'll always see FR. You'll usually see like this number. It's 21, you'll see like these tags right there. HRC 2112. If you see that on the back of a tab um, pants, just take a second look. Now, not everything that's flame resistant is gonna be worth a lot of money. In fact, there's a lot of stuff that is not worth your time. You have to remember this kind of stuff is institutional clothing. Companies buy this for their employees in like generic bulk buys. So there is a lot of low quality flame resistant stuff. What you wanna look for is from bigger brands, especially Ariat. If you find Ariat M4 flame resistant jeans, that's gonna be at least like an easy 50 to $65. Learn your flame resistant stuff. This stuff comes in every shape or form. You can get t-shirts, you can get jackets, pants, coveralls, everything. So just take a look, learn what brands sell well. These we paid $4 for, and they did sell for $26. Now they did take like two months to sell, but still $4 to 26 bucks, I'll take that all day. Guys, when I run to a thrift store, one of the first things I look for is like hiking clothing. That's my favorite category to sell. I just really look for the fabric so you can tell if something's nylon from a distance. You could see like this belt up here. People really like these kind of belted hiking cargo pants. Uh, they're really popular. These were nice because they're the long ones and they're a bigger size, they're an XL. They make these in zip off, they make them in not zip off, all that good stuff. Both of them sell well. These we paid $6.98 for and they did sell for $30. One of my favorite sales of the month. I love, love, love finding this brand. CC Filson is just one of those brands that you know, if you find it, you're gonna make money. Like it doesn't matter if you find underwear from them, if you find socks from them, it doesn't matter. All of it is worth money. And especially like some of this stuff, like the cardigans, the sweaters, the jackets. Oh man, if you could find like a nice jacket, oh, you can make so much money off some of their stuff. It is crazy guys, like seriously. I wanna just tell you this, cause one of the first things I found from CC Filson was one of their oil waxed jackets. It smelled like petroleum and I almost put it back until I looked the brand up. Learn that, that that's okay. They treat jackets like that to make them water resistant. So just because it smells like oil, that may not be a bad thing when it comes to CC Filson or other high-end hunting or outdoors brands. Just make sure you know about that. CC Filson has been making clothes for a long time. They have a lot of different style tags. Learn the generations, learn what's popular, but just also understand that if you find them, you could probably make money out of anything. This jacket act or this sweater actually had a hole on it right there, you could see. We got $165 for this thing in I think like one or two days or something like that. I paid $9.20 for it. So pretty freaking happy about that one. That was a good flip. Very, very happy about that. And lastly, this is not eBay. I wanna show you guys something else because I wanna start rolling this into the repertoire of the channel. I just wanna tell you guys about all the ways that we're making money and I'm just gonna introduce this now. If you don't know, Amazon Associates, Amazon Affiliates, it's just an affiliate program that if you're watching this, literally anyone can sign up for this. There's no rocket science, there's no fancy business tricks. You don't need like some crazy tax ID number. You don't need anything. Any normal person can do this. So say like you have a family that orders a bunch of stuff off Amazon or you have a bunch of friends that order on Amazon. You can just create an Amazon affiliate account, make a quick link to whatever product your friend or family is buying, send it to them. You make a commission. Now the commission's not a lot. It goes from like one to 4%, but still it's free money. You literally don't have to do anything for it. So I'm showing you guys this because I'm really proud of this. This is our biggest month of affiliate commission. Like it's, this is not a lot of money. I'm just gonna preface that by saying this. This is not a lot of money, but to me, it's a lot of money because it's more than we've made in the past six months combined on affiliate commissions. So $28, I'm pretty proud of that. You can see we've had 21 ordered items for $28, which is pretty freaking sweet. And I appreciate every single one of you 
that go in there and buy stuff, especially if you're watching this, whoever bought that Rolo printer, thanks, love you. But you can see how it kind of just spikes, all the clicks, all the commissions kind of just vary by day. Sometimes we get a lot of clicks, sometimes we don't get a lot of clicks. Yeah, this is a great start for us. I'm very happy with this. I used to work really, really hard for money. I mean, in a hot, sweaty kitchen, I'd have to work two to three hours to make this kind of money. So I'm pretty happy to make $28 while I sleep. So yeah, that's it. We're gonna do these every week or so and just kind of tell you guys what sold. So if you're interested in that, if you like this video, make sure you smash that subscribe button. And if you wanna give back to the channel whatsoever, hit that like button. That probably helps us more than anything, guys. It really helps more people see this video and it helps us spread the message and it helps less people live mundane lives. Guys, until next time, my name's Sebastian. Cheers.